Hello and welcome. So today's uh, topic is different a little bit. Uh, usually we do, I don't do this kind of uh, video. Anyway, but uh, if you search Google, you will find a lot of articles about this. How to get, uh, you know, WhatsApp numbers from the group. Uh, group, you know, run by some other person or, you know, just uh, you see that group appeared on your WhatsApp uh, for no reason. I mean, someone just added you. So that's the opportunity that you, you know, pick up the uh, members number all the members number if it is you know relevant to you uh, it can be useful for marketing uh, I would say it's uh, whether it is ethical or unethical uh, that question aside uh, so let me just show you how you can actually do that quickly I have here uh, whatsapp uh, web open web.whatsapp.com so you know already how to log in here i think uh, you, you know already if you can come here or just let me show you how to come here actually um, log out so when you open this web whatsapp.com uh, you will see this QR code and in your phone Android or iOS you open your WhatsApp application and then go to uh, you know three dot on the right side in the main page okay and then click linked device then click again link device uh, you have to enter password and then scan this QR code so that how uh, you, you come here and select you know group that you want you are interested to uh, get the numbers from so you see lots of you know numbers uh, you click on this area particular area where you see the group member some of the numbers right click here go to inspect and then um, actually it should not be like that it should not open that thing let me try again uh, I choose this right click here inspect and then you will see all the numbers are by default selected right click again and copy copy element and then uh, you do one thing create a Google Sheet or Excel, uh, Microsoft Excel, whatever is uh, compatible you are at. Then once it is open, you can write group name like for a job for more EXP. Okay, so I write here job for more at EXP and then. I do one thing in next column controls uh, V to paste the number and you would see that uh, this is uh, pretty uh, pasted in one single line right it is pasted in one single line remaining all numbers are separated by comma so you probably know comma separated value you know, CSV uh, is actually compatible with spreadsheet and you can delete the first uh, you know string that's before phone number appear delete that and then you can see the numbers are actually uh, change the color okay and that means this first number is same as the first number here you see this one this number here what you should do you delete after you know the u y o u uh, even including the comma you can delete that remaining part because these are duplicates it's the same thing already there then enter and it, it, it will give some error because it's automatically entered in an equal sign instead I will enter this uh, this this you know character 
that you find as a uh, for quotation mark so go again at the beginning and then here you enter that single quote uh, and then enter so all the numbers appear in single cell so what you should do right now data and then uh, split text to column so and then enter you just enter detect automatically so every number now have different you know what is called cells so up to this hz and this is lot uh, so from here and then go to end of that uh, you can choose all this and control x just to cut it's supposed to be transpose then right click there should be some transpose option uh, let me see if it is there data Hmm. I so you see now I have used the transpose formula for this and if I use this formula transpose and then sheet my sheet number sheet 1 and then B1 to uh, the last element uh, is the last element A C then enter my number is now here so why this is so um, I have to do different sheet uh, you don't need to do this different sheet but I guess something is interesting that I can insert any number if I want you know after I got uh, the whatsapp number from here and if I want to create a group I change here and add more into this number and then it will be in one uh, column everything in one column uh, that's how uh, you can get all the numbers from a whatsapp group i can do this from for other like for example job for more fresher if i click here and you see i need to close this again uh, click here click on this uh, on a top group name with a few numbers displayed and the search and three doors so right click there inspect and again is I should not open it instead I click here I right click inspect on this um, why is this not happening? Uh, click once the everything is open and then right click inspect yes so now uh, this workflow is complete copy copy element uh, let me show you what is the difference between copy element and copy outer element if you choose this copy uh, outer element go here and paste the number again uh, this is jobs for more at fresher okay then select here and then paste control V not much different actually you would see what we have uh, deleted previously this one after delete we see the num uh, color change because that is the beginning tag of the HTML and after that delete whatever after you know the, including the comma you uh, mention and then that's all you need to do enter and after that you have to do data uh, split text to columns automatically automatically and then uh, separator is comma uh, where is the comma comma enter why is not coming ah my data has gone uh, 
I know why it happened. Enter, enter. Yes, because you see, it's a, a equal to is entered automatically. That this should be replaced by this character, you know, the single quote. And now it is appeared here. And then go to transpose. And what you should do is, you just drag this formula, same formula, and you have the next row available to you. So again, this you can uh, add a link to this uh, name of the title uh, one. So this is jobs for more, and here you can link the second row fresher. So you have title of the um, group and their number. And if you want to expand this list uh to use for telegram or some other channel which uh, allows more than 250 uh, numbers in a group you can insert them here or create different things and then just add into the same column at the end or even within the formula within the formula you can actually add those numbers so that's another video i hope this is interesting thank you